How's it feel to be national champion? Um, it's incredible. Uh, this is exactly what I wanted to do, and I came out here and did it, and uh, it's amazing. It's an amazing feeling. Did you expect a couple years ago that the long jump would be <laughs> the first event that you win the national title? Um, not really. That wasn't the first thing that came to my mind, but anything can happen, and uh, I'm excited that it is the yeah. long jump. So, what's kind of your progression been becoming a long jump? Um, we don't really practice much in uh, in practice, and my coach kind of gets my speed up, and then over outdoor season, we kind of worked on it a little bit, and <coughs> got my approach down, and got my jump and takeoff, and I mean each meet I got better, so. Did the relay affect you mentally at all? Um, no. I mean, that's what happens in meets, ups and downs, and I kind of looked at it as it's just another event that I can stay fresh for. So, I mean, it helped me in the long jump and it helped me in the hundred. So, you put more pressure on yourself because of those lost points. Um, not more pressure. I think our whole team just came closer together, and we know we have to scrap for points, and it's going to be a fight to the end. Did winning your heat the 100 get the legs extra, or maybe warmed up for the uh, the long jump there? Uh, it definitely got me excited, but I think the crowd really helped me out in the long jump. Is that tough? You, I mean, in the middle of your long jump, you had to go run 100 meter back. Yeah, I, I had to stay focused. Um, my coaches had the plan for me, and I just kind of did what they said, and didn't really. I thought about each event one at a time, so I was just really excited with how it happened. English is gone, and now you're stepping into those shoes maybe a year earlier than people expected you to have to to be kind of the, the main sprinter on the team. Have you embraced that role? Um, yeah, definitely. English was a great leader, and she taught me everything she knew, and I kind of just stepped into her shoes, and hopefully I'd be excited to be as good as she was. You talked to her before this meet? I've talked to her a little bit over the course of this season, yeah. yeah. What did she, she give you advice about going into this meet? Um, we kind of just joke around. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Cool. You're in a tie going into your fifth jump. What kind of was your mindset going into that? The um, jump? I was just excited. I felt good. I knew I knew that my fourth jump was a big one and scratched by a little bit. So I just went into it confident and luckily I pulled out a big one. Do you quite know yet what happened on the relay? A mark or? Uh, I'm not sure what happened. Uh, I don't know. Things happen in the relay all the time, but they'll come back stronger in the 400, and Sasha has the hurdles tomorrow. So. Thank you. Yep, thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Jill, uh, now today, a trophy. <laughs> today you actually jumped out of order in the first round because of the fact that you were going to be in the 100, I believe. Yeah. Did you know coming in that that was going to happen? I mean, you said your coaches prepared you for some things that might happen. Did you think, did, did you know that was going to happen? Um, not necessarily. They just, my coach said, go down there, ask if you can jump first and get one jump out of the way before the 100. And, I mean, luckily it happened that way. And I got a good jump to get me through finals and kind of just took it from there. Now I didn't get everything charted. Did you make all three jumps in the in the in the preliminary rounds, or did you just jump once or twice? I just jumped twice. Just jumped twice. And was it the very first jump and the very last jump? Yeah, I took my first jump past my second. Before everybody else. Yeah. Isn't that right? And, and then, then passed my second, and then took the third one last. After everybody else, so yeah. you bookended the whole thing, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Did, make, did, sorry, okay. did you make an adjustment on that before the fifth attempt? Yeah, I moved back about a half a foot because I was feeling good and the crowd was going to be pumped up. So and you were feeling fast when you were on the way there. Yep, I was. Um, so, can you relax and enjoy this, or do you have to just get your mindset ready for tomorrow? Um, I'll enjoy it tonight. Kind of, I don't know, celebrate with my friends and family, and then get focused and get ready for the 200 tomorrow. Congratulations. Thank you. Did, did you think, how does that distance rank in your mind? Is it as good as you hoped for? Is it not as long as you thought you might jump? Is it much better than you thought you might jump? Um, really all I was thinking about today was placing uh, for my team. Uh, we need all the points we can get, so I don't care what the mark is as long as it's like, mm -hmm. a lot of points we can get. And it was a PR personal best, yeah. wasn't it? By yeah. a couple centimeters or something like uh, that? Two inches. Two yeah. inches, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, where did you think you'd be at the beginning of the season? Where did you think you'd be distance-wise, or were you just wanting to make sure you scored some points for the team at the NCAA championships? And then you jump? Um, I, I don't, I don't really know what I was 
At the beginning of the season, I knew I could, I knew I could jump far. It's just a matter of me putting it together and mm -hmm. at the right time. And Coach Johnson really prepared me better than any coach in the nation. So I came out here confident and knew that I was ready to jump. And uh, luckily, I put it all together at the right time. Gosh, thank you. Thank you. How, how did you? You're from California. How did you do in these the CIF meet and that back in your high school days? Um, California, I won my junior and senior year. You won long jump? Yeah. Both years. So you, yeah. you, you think like a, a long jumper. So. Yeah. yeah. Do you prefer sprints over uh, long jumping or long jumps over sprints or running on the relay because it's a team or does it make any difference? I think they're all different. Mm -hmm. um, long jump is fun. It's always a fun event. And you kind of have to take every jump and you always have another chance. And mm -hmm. The 100, there's nothing like it. So. Mm -hmm. I can't really compare them. I love them all. Yeah, so when you're doing both events, do you have any advice for people who have to be doing kind of two things at once, multitasking? Uh, you just got to take it one event at a time and focus on the event that you're in at that point. Be in the now? Yep. Have you had any problem with that at all during your career? Were you able to focus back in high school also and separate the two and say, okay, this is over, I've got to go do that one now? Uh, I think I learned in high school. Uh, I kind of struggled with it while I was younger, and mm -hmm. I mean, don't we all? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, coming out here, it's it's completely different than California State. It's the national mm -hmm. championship, but kind of I fun, mean, huh? Yeah, it's definitely fun, and doing it here for the home crowd is it's, it's the best it's, crowd in the country. It's the best crowd in the world. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. But it's, it's a great crowd. Yeah, so it's a great crowd. You're very lucky. Mm -hmm. You're very lucky. Thank so. you. Mm-hmm.